Long now has mankind looked up to the skies and wondered if we are alone in this universe. Many miraculous things have been spotted all over the world, reported by our militaries, and sparked great debates amongst ourselves. I am here to tell you that ladies and gentlemen, people of Earth, brothers and sisters of all races, all countries, that we are not alone. We have never been alone. That some higher power has seeked to spread the gift of life throughout the universe and beyond all comprehension. It is in these times we must learn to love one another. We must not share hate, but joy. We must not inhibit, but we must grow. These beings are our friends. They are our family. They want to help us become better, to see the true potential of mankind. And for maybe one day, we will join them in their voyage to help other beings from other star systems. As shocking as this news may be, it is nothing new. Our governments of the world have known for quite some time that we are not alone in this universe, and we have had contact for many of years, slowly preparing the American public and the publics of the world for such a revelation. We are not alone, and we are about to embark on the greatest journey mankind has ever experienced. Ladies and gentlemen, we have caught That was brilliant. You know, I, I love that trailer, Dakota. And I, I must say this to you, you've got your new background there. See, see, just before that trailer ended, you had the stars, and you've got the exact same stars behind you. Ironic, that, isn't it? Yes, that was not done intentionally, but yeah. But honestly, <laughs> it looks amazing. I would just like to say, everybody in the chat, we're going to give it a couple of minutes before it fills up. The broken, the specialist of the series, I wonder who he could be. Um, oh, Bald no, and bonkers. You know, uh, Night and Drew's Paranormal Vlog. There you go. Give you a shot. Well, we didn't block her again. Wait. I know. I tell you, oh, that's <laughs> aliens. Win the aliens. Win the aliens. You know. But guys, you are in for a treat tonight. And we've got oh, yes. some announcements, but we're keep them for more the end of the show, you know, just a bit teaser, a teaser there. So Dakota, what have you got to be talking about tonight? What madness have we, have we got? You know, there seems to be a lot of discussion about how to contact, you know, con- you know contact, yeah, but no, contact with extraterrestrials, that's been a huge thing over mm-hmm. the years. And why not talk about a specific hotspot, at least here in the U.S., that it seems that a lot of attention is getting centered towards Mount Shasta. That place is, oh my God, there have been so many documentaries about that place, man. I mean, there's right. been, it's been on Coast to Coast AM. It's been on, it's been on Darkness Radio. It's been on, it's been everywhere. I mean, it's been on the History Channel, the Discovery Channel. It's... It's a mystical place. I mean, the stories about that place are phenomenal, about doorways to and underworld cities. It's just, you name it, Bigfoot sightings. It's off the scale. And it's one of those things, you know, a lot of people could probably argue that Mount Shasta can turn into the new Skinwalker Ranch where all of a sudden all the attention yeah. gets centered towards it, the activity dies off. No, the activity still fairly recent, with a lot of people claiming that they've been inside the alleged city of light that's underneath the mountain. That's right. I mean, I mean, I watched it, I watched it, I was actually, I didn't watch it, I listened to it, it was on Coast to Coast AM, and they were actually talking about this, this UFO expert on the UFOs that have been sighted over that mountain is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's black triangles, you've got all the, the cigar-shaped ones, uh, UFOs, I mean, it's it's a hot spot. I mean, people actually go there 
at night, you're probably guaranteed to see something every night. It's not that day. I was, I was reading something last night on it, and it was um, it was about the uh, Bigfoot and mm-hmm. how it, he's been actually there's the sightings of Bigfoot round about Mount Shasta is more than anywhere else in the United States, which is strange because then it makes you wonder: Are they the ones that's flying the ships? Are they the ones that stay in there? Because Bigfoot's meant to be an interdimensional being that lives. Because let's face it, no one's ever managed to cap- capture one. Well, no. before we start going too much into the Bigfoot is an alien no. thing, we do have to consider there are animals who have fur that has oh, yeah. evolved yeah. to bend light in a certain way to make it look like they've disappeared oh, yeah. in the mountains and yeah. the, whatever regions they happen to be in. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that Bigfoot, I mean, my p- opinion in Bigfoot is that I've never really seen any really good evidence. Yes, there's evidence there of Bigfoot, right? But I think there's different. We'll, we'll maybe do a show on this one night. We'll actually get an expert on guys about Bigfoot because I think there's different. It's, Mike, the naked Bigfoot, he comes on here and he was actually telling us that there's different breeds of Bigfoot. So oh yeah, intelligent ones and cannibalistic ones. You know, I mean, there's ones that have don't use technology and the living grass huts and stuff like that and they try and stay out of human touch and then there's the ones that are technologically advanced and they're from a different realm but anyway oh th- there's chess king 69 welcome and there's drew's paranormal hello there drew we're just talking about you drew no i'm only kidding <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I had to say that, you know. I had to say that, you know. Just, just wind up, please, everybody. Could you share this out because we've got some amazing announcements at the mm-hmm. end of the show. Well, near the end of the show. Plus, we've got a new show starting, guys. We've got a new show starting on Friday called The yes. Lost Magics with yeah, none name. other than Drew's Paranormal Vlog. She is one of the hosts along with Sherry. Paranormal World Investigators. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep, the Bald and Bonkers crew is growing much more rapidly than any of oh, us yeah. have actually ever expected. What's that there? Chess King. I think there's too much credibility regardless of Bigfoot. Genesis 14. There was a against before. What's that? Giants. The US and, Giants, I. US and they're after us. Yeah. Well, yeah, but <clears throat> giants is another real controversial term because a lot of people try to uh, upright assume that the, there was 100-foot beings, several 100-foot beings that walk in the earth, they were humanoid. This is one of the things that I'm skeptical about, and maybe they were talking about Sasquatch-like beings because they are very humanoid, and some reports even indicate that they can fully <clears throat> speak human language, they can fully yeah. comprehend it. <clears throat> You're, you are essentially dealing with what's a seven foot tall, very intelligent gorilla. So if they you piss them off, they will kill you. But yeah. you also got to consider how much of this these claims of giants were just legitimately tall people. That story got a little exaggerated. See, they could see, you see that they could say the same, right? We'll take we'll take giants here, and then we'll put them against another type of people, right? The let's go to the Inca, right? The Inca. They, they tame their, their, their newborn babies and they wrapped their skulls in basically cloth and made their skulls elongated. Do you know what I'm talking about here, Dakota, didn't you? Now, why did they do that? They said because they were copying the gods. Right? The gods were the aliens with pointy heads, right? And they wanted to make their children like the gods. Maybe they thought, oh, maybe if I make my kid like them, they'll be intelligent like them. You know, and then we get the giants. I mean, I've seen some pictures on the internet, guys. I mean, there is a lot of photoshopping gets done. I mean, skulls the size of a small house, you know. But yes, there was giants. And you look at the humans. That's that look at that actor. It was in James Bond. He was he was what's his name? You know, what I'm talking about Jaws. You know, who I'm talking about. He played Jaws in James Bond. There's people that like come over the years that have actually. They are classed as giants. So, 
is this is some type of genetic makeup it's maybe related to Bigfoot? Possibly. There's uh there's even been reports, I believe it would be out of present day Russia, where there have been some reports of young ladies being taken off by big ape like creatures. Yeah. And being impregnated by them. Yes. And some of their descendants are still around today. Well, there's a question there, Dakota, right? And I don't know if you'll be able to answer this one better than me. I mean, I've heard of them in the UK too. What's your, what's your thoughts on it? Oh, they're everywhere. Yeah. Australia, Russia, Africa. Every That's one of those things that you have to consider. Every location on Earth, you could probably even get some out of Antarctica if there's anybody there to go deep enough. Yeah. No. Yeah. Take a jacket. Uh-oh. It's actually quite it's quite interesting because the ones in Australia are different, Bigfoot. Because oh, what yeah. I've learned what I've learned for the Australian ones, they've got red eyes. I mean the Aborigines speak about them. They're mm-hmm. famous. I mean you've got to remember Australia is one of the most oldest continents in the entire planet, right? The, the Aborigines they think are the oldest tribe are among the oldest among, and a yeah. lot of the ab- people who have or aborigine descendants they actually have humanoid dna that we don't know where it came from actually see that's the thing i mean there's there's stole there's stories with the aboriginals that they would tell about ships coming down from the stars and they would actually draw it into their caves and mm-hmm. It it's it's to think. I wish I had a time machine. I really do because I would love to go back. I'd, people would say, "Would you like to go into the future?" I I would like to see the future and see what it looks like. But I would rather go back in time and see what happened. What happened to cause all these stories? But let's go back to Mount Shasta. Mm-hmm. What have you got for us on that? Well, for those who somehow live under a rock. And mm-hmm. don't know the story. Like we were saying before, Mount Shasta is a hotbed of UFO activity. There's people that go to hike there that report, you know, there's electronics malfunctioning. There's weird mm-hmm. lights in the sky. We were talking about the other night. There are actually events, conferences where you can pay tickets to basically camp out okay. near Mount Shasta to or okay. try to watch, see if you can see any UFOs coming down. Mm-hmm. Now, it has been coming up a lot in our research lately, and there's quite a bit piling up that suggests, now, you know, allegedly, but we'll use that term just because this is a rather exotic claim, that something big is about to go down there within the next... Five years, be generous. Oh yeah, yeah. Within, I think, yeah, I think something, something it, with all the UFO reports and with all the other CE five things, mm-hmm. I think something is going to happen. I think something's going to be witnessed for the first time in a long time in thousands of years. You know that, mm-hmm. and. It's not just me that's saying this, guys. It's it's UFO, the UFO community. There is something going on with that mountain. I mean, it's not just that. You ever heard of Missing 411, David Pilatus? Mm-hmm. People have disappeared around that mountain. Mm-hmm. They just disappeared. I mean, some people say, yeah, they've wandered off and got lost in the woods and they've died and never... No, 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 no. There was a... There was a I, I, I can't remember when it was, but there was a, people walking Mount Shasta... And it was like in a wee ravine way. So you couldn't go left or right, but you could just walk around. There was people in front, there was people behind, and the person in the middle just disappeared. I mean, how is that possible? I mean, unless they found the doorway. Unless they, unless something happened. It's strange, isn't it? It really is strange. What's this in the chat? I think King Kong was based on Bigfoot. It probably was. Yeah, it probably you never know. Was. It probably was. And there's Drew's paranormal log. I'm back. I had to go to the dog set up. You ah. left us. That's terrible. Of course. <laughs> so what else is new about the mountain? So, well, 
being that it does seem like it's a spot that may need a physical investigation to look oh, yeah. into, we have actually been mapping out stories to look for common markers. Now, a lot of the witnesses' testimonies that we've been able to come across, they fully admit that what they're talking sounds absolutely crazy. Yeah. They fully admit it. They know it does, but they're just trying to tell a story. They're not, not a lot of them are looking to actually gain any benefit from it, mm-hmm. which it certainly mm-hmm. makes you wonder. It's like, okay, are they just telling a story of BS with people or are is something going on? And there's actually a center that's focused at the base of Mount Shasta that centered a lot around the lore of the yeah. location. And it's said that on the inside, there's a lot of murals of drawings from things they've seen in the City of Light that a lot of people who have never really met before, they're drawing very similar things. Obviously, artistic ability and styles got yeah. thrown in there for mm-hmm. variation, but it's it's definitely one of those things that I need to go hiking. Yes. <laughs> I'm not hiking up. I'm going to hire a helicopter. Now, why would you do that if they're shutting down electronics before they invite anybody in? I don't worry. That's what parachutes were invented for. But I don't think that, I think helicopters are very good things to parachute in case the blades get to you. You know, but no, you don't want to be parachuting out of a helicopter. What are you talking about? You can you can do you can parachute a helicopter as long as it's, it's stationary. You know, it's not moving. It's it's fine. But here's an interesting fact, right? People were like, oh, there's no a city underneath the mound. Oh, these things don't exist. These don't take exist. Look, 20 years ago, right? UFOs, if you've seen a UFO, you were marked as a mad, raven lunatic. If you talked about aliens, you were marked as a mad, raven lunatic. Look at it now. It's on CNN. It's on BBC News. The the US military have had them above their ships. They've been chasing after them in the in the in the Atlantic and stuff like that. I mean, it's it's getting on the Pacific, and it's coming out now, and they're taking it seriously. I mean, you go into that, you go into like Sky TV, Discovery Channel, History Channel. That's all you're getting right now. Is UFOs are the real UFOs? This UFOs that hunting Bigfoot, ghost hunting. Right? People are taking this serious, guys. Something is going on with that mountain. Here's a question for you. I've never actually researched the Dakota. What about the native Indians to that area? Have they ever reported anything? Maybe going oh. back to like the 1800s or the 1700s, because I can't you... It's not just Mount Shasta. There are... I know, there's other yeah, there, yeah. It's all over. It's yeah. in, Indigenous tribes all over talk about sky people. They yeah. When it comes to things like Bigfoot, Wendigo... Dog man, uh, and any creature that allegedly has some sort of humanoid form yeah. and comes out of the woods, they recognize as, as slightly something else. They recognize them as forest guardians. Yeah. And to this day, chances are, if you're in a territory that's known for Bigfoot sightings, they'll usually leave you alone. But if you start messing around, they'll come for you. Ask Mike the Naked Bigfoot. Yes. Oh, he's pissed off naked. a group. Uh, he's, he's <laughs> 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 Mike's pissed off. but he's a great guy, you know. I would forgive him. If I was Bigfoot, I would forgive him, you know. Because I think he's just brilliant. He's bring, actually bringing out his book. When is his book coming out? Yeah, he, well, he was saying on the last show we did that he has a book coming out in March that I will definitely be buying a copy of. Because that man has some serious stories. Yeah. I'm 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 looking forward to that book coming out. And I'll admit that. You know, chances are a lot of us would probably consider yeah, skunk ape more yeah. towards uh, Georgia, Florida area, but I'll, bring that up, yeah. I'll admit uh, some of Mike's stories I would be skeptical of had we not to be yeah. completely honest. He Yeah. Ugh. Kind of scary. Some it's, it's, it's actually quite weird that because when you started talking about Mike there, you started breaking up. Well, you also got to remember, there's also been incidents yeah. where we're almost coming up on the year anniversary of this incident. Drew would know, and if Sherry pops in, she'll know as well. Where not too long after this incident took place, we had Mike on with the previous our previous employer. 
Yes. And all of a sudden, he had voices coming through mentioning my name. Yeah. Sherry, I know Sherry mentioned she heard it too. And there's been times where Mike's attachments, they get nervous around me. I, it makes you wonder what are they picking up on? Are they picking up on the alien entities? Are they picking up on the the other entities? Which I'm not going to mention their name. We know who he is. We, we don't talk about that. This is because this is no a this is no a ghost show. This is more UFO based. But you know what I'm saying. You know it could be a, it could have something to do with it. But it's. I mean, when are you going up the mountain, Tacoa? When are you going? <laughs> Let me pounce out some of a uh, financial situation and I'll give I you know. a more accurate answer. You know, I mean, what do you think, guys, in the chat? What do you think about Manchester? I mean, no, just Manchester. What about, what about Table Mountain in the United States? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's one of the most strangest looking mountains I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I think there's a lot of hidden things in this world and I think you need to be awoke to see it more mm-hmm. you know what I'm trying to say Dakota I think once there's one of the things in the chat there um, oh damn spat box there you go YouTube's Cut all damn that. determined to block YouTube in since well they won't take care of that crap yeah I know I know um, but I dealt with that swiftly and severely I I uh, deleted it you know a quick hand and for you in the YouTube and the podcast community who are deleting bots that come in and annoy yeah. everybody so what else have you got about abductions Dakota <laughs> I couldn't help myself guys I had to say that you know. Yeah, you gotta go for abductions. But no, I had to go for it. I had to go for it, man. It's, it's you're one to talk. You're one to go into that that lady that was preaching that the Greys were good guys, aren't oh, you? Oh no, I mean, I, uh, you, okay, I we're working watching, way too much with each other if we're picking up on each other like that. Yeah, I mean, that's. I wanted to. I was watching a show through the week there, and I'm not mentioning the show, and they were talking about the Greys are good guys. No, they're no good guys, guys. The greys are no good. Yes, there's one species, Dakota. Can you fill me in? There's one species of good guys, there's, greys. This is one of those things where even our friend Elena Dinan, she yeah. talks about it all the time, where we have to really be careful about what we judge because, yeah, yeah I'll be honest, as some of the people that are a little bit more open-minded about the ET approach, their tendency to get tense around the subject kind of reveals that they may be dispositioned in a biased sort of way. Yeah. And that is something we really got to be careful with because not all of the tall blondes are going to be good guys. Not yeah. all of the greys are bad guys. There's one species in particular that help that, according to the lore around them, once again, yeah. Yeah. they help start all the federations of light that want to try to help us out. But a majority of the greys, a lot of them are clone species. They might actually be biological androids. Yes. And they're damned to determine for enslavement. Yeah, they, they, are, they are thinking of the Earth is what happened as 1940s, 1950s, what they think happened as, I'm just going with what they think, because I don't want to put this as, you know, fact. Something happened, the aliens came down, the greys, and the government made a deal with them, right? And basically, they says to them, the greys went, listen, we need to we need to do some experiments on humans, and, but you need technology. So that's what they've been doing. They've been basically giving certain governments of the world, which I'm not going to mention, technology. But technology to them is like maybe a, a musket. Right to them, mm-hmm. something that's maybe like a million years old in their technology, they're giving to us, right? And we're like, oh, that's amazing, that's amazing. But to, to them, that's nothing, right? Mm-hmm. No, it's like, and they were like, why, oh, no bother, you can abduct a certain amount of people you want as long as you give us technology, like computer technology, right? 
But what's happened is the good aliens, the Galactic Federation, right? They've came and they've tried to free us multiple times, guys. And I think it's just about worked this time. It's just about worked this time, including all the reports that's out in the internet of the UFOs. Right? But there is still the greys that linger. And they are evil. They're very evil. Mm-hmm. And it's it, it's hard for me to watch like a show like I did the other day and the woman's like, yes, the alien came and took me away and they branded me. and But then they made a deal with them to, to basically try and help the Earth, but they want to colonise the Earth and their image. And th- Guys, listen to me. Aliens, good aliens, would not come and brand you, right? I they might take you away and put an implant in you or something like that, but they're not for the rain can they, to help you, but they don't. This is this is the crazy thing, right? This is the crazy thing. There is good entities in this universe, right? But then there's evil entities. As on Earth, there's good humans, but there's evil ones, mm-hmm. right? You know? What's your thoughts, Dakota? It's you definitely were starting to step into more controversial territory, but yeah, it is also said that the Federation got a hold of certain branches of our militaries, started giving us weapons as well to try to even the playing field a little bit. Yeah, it's like I believe it was the Greys got the Air Force, the Federation got the Navy. Like here in the U.S., it's slightly different for each country, but yeah. nevertheless, you got to admit whether it's ghosts, demons, angels, UFOs, aliens, things are getting hot, well, yeah. and there's things coming out that I have possibly never seen since the biblical times, which I makes you wonder. Yeah. I think there's got to be a yeah. I think there's got to be a UFO event soon, guys. And see all this TV stuff, the new the news talking about it, Discovery Channel talking about it, History Channel. This is them preparing you guys. That you must understand that this is you. This is them preparing you for that day because it's going to happen. Something's going to happen. I'm not going to say they're going to land in the White House lawn and come out and want to see speak to the president. I don't think it's going to work that way. I think other things are going to happen. I think they're going to try and pull something off our glorious governments of the world just to do something. And I think this is, this is we are on the precipice. We are on the precipice of something UFO in the next five years. No, even five years. In the next two years or even one year. This year, something big is meant to happen in the UFO community. I mean, oh, Shrimp Shack, welcome, oh, welcome. Great. What? What's up? No, I was just going to say, <laughs> you went all quiet. What there. was that? You went all quiet there. I says, I'll, I'll hand him the show over to you because I was waiting for you to like, join in in the, the japing. No, no, I, no I, I, I really, no, I agree. Um, And I was, I was just going to say, our good friend, AJ Booker, you saw him as the professor when we did the Halloween special. Yes. He and I, we work on the side for a lot of projects. We have uh, something big coming up later in the year that I don't think I should probably reveal too much about right now. Mm-hmm. But I do know he is looking into a bit of an experiment tomorrow for at least for UK time. Yeah. That he fully believes that may be able to contact some sort of civilization. He was giving me details that he keeps hearing a certain frequency. See, this is the thing that a lot of people have been reporting this, and you were going to be we're going to be bringing this in, hey guys. We've got to be talking about contact to say and stuff. But when you go, to... uh, no, no, this is going to be our segue. So yeah. Now, it's just, it, there's. I pause right there because of the key words. Certain frequencies sound familiar, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. That he is going to try to isolate and place something back to establish contact 
Mm-hmm. I, I honestly really hope to see what happens with this little experiment. I'm putting together something very similar that we're going to try to put out in the next, this next week. But yeah. I can help but stop and think. It's like, wait a sec. There's been times where we're trying – I'm just trying to sit back. We're doing our regular thing. And I think it was actually on the last show that we did where all yeah. of a sudden tones that sound awful lot like – the CE5 tones. Yes. They're coming out of nowhere. Yes. And, <clears throat> and the reason why we say this is that some of the things that have been coming through with our contact experiments, mm-hmm. when you think about it, a lot of these facilities, they're looking for radio transmissions. In fact, there was an article not too long ago. I didn't have a chance to really dig into it. And no, it's not the ones where they found out it's just them fucking up. But <laughs> there's more radio signals coming out that they're concerned about. You have the wow signal from the 1970s, yes. if I remember correctly, which was just a few months after the Verlon television hijacking okay. back in the 1970s in South London. It was just a few months off from that. Basically, what they're saying is that we're looking at two archaic of technology. We're looking for two archaic of signals yes. to be able to see what's actually going on. That's, they that's found wrong. something else out. Something about the CE5 tones is how they actually do it. Somehow yeah. it moves quicker. Possibly has something to do with psychic ability. These Obviously, these are... Obviously, in order to be able to test these to the satisfaction of the scientific method involves things that are technically yeah, considered I mean, torture. I mean, look. look let's, let's, explain it. let's explain it for the people that's listening and watching this. And, uh, we are searching the solar system for the same type of radio transmissions that we've been putting out for hundreds, about 100 years, right? Yeah. We, we are listening for radio frequencies. But you've got to remember, these aliens, right? These aliens, some of these races are like millions of years old. Right, they don't use radio transmitters. They do not use radio transmitters. Right, they use tones and sublight tones. This is how they do it. Right, we need to start thinking. Right, there's a race out there somewhere in the the cosmos. They're probably highly advanced. Let's and let's contact them. How they would try and contact us using. Well, advanced technology and still using like a CB radio. Well, here's yeah. the thing. And you can look at it with a lot of potential ET research. And Drew, I don't know if that's something you should necessarily be laughing at because they consider sexual assault, highly drugging people. What was that? What was the name of it? Stranger Things was based on it. Oh, I haven't watched Stranger Things yet. What is it? No. Uh, anyway. Basically, there was a lot of absolutely diabolical experiments that governments have done on people in order to try to bring out psychic ability. And it's some of the stuff we know about. It's just. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway, but a lot, as I was saying, with a lot of ET things, when you really look at it, they're looking at essentially us. We're looking for other civilizations at the exact same point in time. It's the exact same point in development as us. But time in itself, when it flows through space, is a very liquid. It bends around every no, – the basic, most basic way of showcasing relativity. It bends across any sort of planets. Anything it comes across, it bends. Even us yeah. just wailing our arms around like an idiot, that actually bends time. Yes, yeah, so Our emotions bend time. Good. So, yeah. yes, there could be civilizations that are thousands of years more advanced than us, but because of how time moves through yeah. space, they could be several even thousands of years old. And when it comes to these tones, yeah. I, I, some, I thought that Sherry came through when she was under one of her trances, just reminded me, plants, animals, we all, even humans, we have specific frequencies that can be yeah. amplified. Yeah. And register on planets give off similar tones. So yes. who's to say that a technologically advanced How's civilization that wants to try to bounce, that have that want to try to include nature into their technology, they haven't figured out a way to say, "Ooh, we can do this with it." 
I know there's one guy on TikTok who actually runs his guitar through a fruit, and some of the sounds he gets from that, yeah. wow. I mean, this is, this is what people don't realize, right? Look, I've got to bring a couple of points up here. Let's take plants. People have known if you play certain tones to plants, some will die. For some weird reason, they'll have plenty of sun, they'll have nice soil, they'll have plenty of water, but they'll die. Whereas they play different tones, they'll flourish, they'll grow, mm-hmm. they'll get stronger. Let's take the moon. Oh, no, no, let's take the moon. The sun. Suns, astronomers, right? They see suns. Suns put out tones, right? But what I'm going to say here is, right, see... See if you're in a spaceship, right? Let's say, let's say we're in a spaceship right now, right? Say Dakota's on the Earth and I'm in a spaceship, right? And I'm flying at the speed of light, right? So an hour, two hours will go over for me, right? Two hours, I'll be sitting there drinking my tea or whatever in my spaceship or whatever it does, right? I'll be sitting there, two hours will pass for me, right? But see on Earth, a hundred years will pass. Mm-hmm. Right? This is the problem. You think about it. Where's the? Wh- what would you say was the nearest? Is it Alpha Centauri? What's what's the nearest lovable planet they say that's near here meant to be? That they, I they've believe, disclosed. I believe that there is some planets around Alpha Centauri, and there's some ET files that say there's something there. But yeah. I believe one of the closest ones is Alpha Centauri that we could potentially live on. Sure, right. So here's the problem, right? In our fastest ship, that was, what was that, the Apollo rocket, the Apollo rocket was one of our fastest ships, right? Flying towards that would take something like 5,000 years to get there, right? Mm-hmm. Right. But, but, but the time we got there, it'd be too late. The race could have died out. The, there could have been wars. There could have... This, this is the problem. This is the problem. We need to try and... This is why I think tones, right? I think tones are different. I don't think they get affected by time the same as the light. What do you think? Well, here's a thought. Let's take the Pleiades because there are several ancient civilizations that point to the Pleiades star system as being our true origin. Uh, say like the Mayan civilization, a lot of the descendants that are still around say their civilization didn't die off. Yeah, They went home. And that's where they point. There's the Dogon tribe out of Africa who knew that there were, were certain things around there even before modern astronomy managed to record it. How the heck does a tribe that still re- yeah. do funny dances with sticks and loincloths know about that? Yeah. Because something maybe visited them. Exactly. Or, and, they've, they've had some type of spiritual astral projection I mean they've they've maybe you know what that tribe people are like they take their special bongo juice or whatever it is and then they go and astral travel right maybe they've astral travelled right and they've found this out through astral travel well that's one idea that I was going to say there's also and this is actually something that comes from one of the head guys from Lockheed Skunk Works, which does a yeah. lot of government contracts in developing aircraft. At a conference, this was talked about yeah. in one of Stephen Greer's documentaries, where the guy jokes, we now have the technology to take E.T. home. Yes. Sure. How he says that's possible is that all points in time and space are connected. There's a quantum entanglement. And sometimes, and like you said with plants, animals have been known to do it too. There's actually medical treatments that are trying to be developed using just certain frequencies. Yes. Right? This is what I'm trying to alliterate. This is not just a couple of conspiracy nuts spitting spitting out random stuff. There's actual backing to everything we're saying. And sometimes and when you look at t- identical twins or even people who just have really close personal relationships, how do you explain someone getting the urge to give someone a phone call right as they're having a mental breakdown? Yeah. Exactly. 
Exactly. And how do you explain the the ones where one of the, say the twins maybe been in an accident and they've mm-hmm. went something's happened and yes yeah, something has happened. Tones have been also proven to make clean energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean let's take let's take fusion power, right? Fusion it's hotter than the sun, right? But they've found that be using tones in the fusion it's burning longer. It's Tones, tones, I've heard the tones with the medical thing, that's quite, actually quite a big thing, the tones with the medical thing, they actually predict that one day there'll be machines that fully and autonomous, that you'll be able to climb inside, and it'll be able to heal you, mm-hmm. you'll just be using certain tones, there you mm-hmm. go, you know, but look at that, that's, 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 that's amazing where time goes, we've got what, 20 minutes left to the show, Talking about talking about shows and stuff, did you see any good documentaries last night, Declan? Uh, well, I wish I could sit down, say I was able to sit down, but I was on my way out to work, and my mother was watching this, I believe it was on Hulu, about Project Bluebeam, and I found it kind of interesting because yeah. I remember seeing something about someone trying to organize a protest at Chicago O'Hare Airport due to a massive UFO sighting that took place there, which yeah. is kind of scary when you think about it, because allegedly Mothman's been hanging out around there as well. Really? Is that is that where Mothman... It's weird you should talk about that, because I was, I was uh, watching a uh, documentary last night on Mothman, mm-hmm. and about the bridge that collapsed and you know... You know yeah, White Pleasant, about. Virginia. Yes, and also there was sightings in Japan just before the tsunamis uh, this flying creature. There's been a very similar reports to Mothman around a lot of major disasters. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny that we bring that up because next week on Contact, oh, yeah. we do have the Mothman lady herself, Ash- Ashley Hill, coming on oh. to talk with us finally. Yes. Hopefully she doesn't get the times yeah. mixed up again. Oh, knock on wood, knock on wood. I touch wood. I, feel yeah, I do know that she hair. was... Uh, no, we should ask her how that Mothman documentary is going that she says she was working on. Yeah. Anyway... But, you know, maybe we, she could give us advice on something That's we've been right. talking about. I mean, we've been talking, we talk about a lot of stuff, guys. You, you should see behind the scenes of Bolton Bonkers Network, you know. It's, it, we talk a lot about stuff. But then there's there's things we talk about that are actually happening, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, why don't you fill some people in in the chat about that? Can you know, but without obviously going too far, we don't want to tell them too much, you know. Cause then, well, yeah, we don't want to tell too much, being that we are still trying to figure out all the details ourselves. But you know, we got to thinking. There's a lot going on when it comes to UFOs, and there's a lot that we've had go on here. Yeah, we should probably try to do some sort. of of special project to talk into it a bit more, you know? Well, 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 Try to get yeah. some people to tell their story, maybe help yeah. it out, some people out along the way. Maybe invite some of our friends to join us, you know? I mean, there's actually a, one of them's in the chat tonight that might even be joining us, you know? I mean, it's a bit of a uh, one that is, obviously, you know? That's, oh, I, 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 she might, you know, she, she might, she, 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 maybe. She, he, whatever. I don't know. You know, I'm trying not to misgender people. But I think, I think what we've got to be doing is got to be amazing. Like, I mean, this is this is nothing small. You know, we'll just let the internet community try and all our friends on YouTube and that figure out what we're up to, right? But if we pull this off, it'll change things big time. Oh yeah, yeah. But I mean, cause it's not just that we. We'll be getting to meet people that are so important, so in, in the UFO community, oh, and in, in places like that, you know. Mm-hmm. So, what's there any other news to come? What about shows, new shows that are coming? Ah, uh, yes, 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 and hopefully she's still around because she just likes she likes to disappear on around. us yeah, when we good, start getting into the good stuff. I've noticed, I know, I know, but I, know. I, I, you think we should play the trailer one more time? Play the trailer for The Lost Magics. Ah, yes, starring our dear friends Drew and Sherry. Where are you at? There you are. Okay.
Friday. That's, I would just like to actually say, who did you get to do the voice for the Lost Magics? <laughs> Was that That's me, dude. Oh, well, there you know, guys. <laughs> you know, but look, she's in the chat. She's actually been watching us. No, oh, she's actually paying attention. She's paying attention, Drew. Paying attention. Oh my God, Mark, just stay on the calendar. So, do you have any other news that's coming on? <laughs> I would just like to say that for the the Lost Magics will be available on the podcast, but due to the fact that the one who's actually technologically savvy in this group <laughs> is going to be heading out of town for the weekend a little bit to attend a Gabriel Iglesias concert, there might be a slight delay in getting the pod, audio version of the show up. So do you bear with us? Yeah, it, it, it's a birthday gift. You know, my birthday's coming up on this Wednesday, so well, well, my mother's taking go. me out to a nice yeah. concert. No, I, honestly, I think Thank you look you, very young for being 50, you know. I mean, it's... it's, it's... <laughs> I'm sorry, he's only 20. I'm sorry. I'm only turning 26, <laughs> you... <laughs> That's that. Apparently, just, when he and I first I just, met, he thought I was older than him, and he's I know, 40. Terrible. I would just like to say a sort of thank you to... Uh, friends on YouTube that will be coming on as a guest next Saturday, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, and they're called The Smith Paranormal. See that link there, guys? Could you go and subscribe to their channel? I It was actually New Year's uh, Day. I entered one of their, their prizes, and I won a prize from them. I won crystals, and I won sense sticks. My God, it's, it's, there was smoke everywhere in here. It was lovely. I was floating about, you know. And Honestly, I would like to say thank you to the Smith Paranormal for that prize because it was absolutely amazing. But please, guys, could you go and give Smith Paranormal a subscribe? You know? Yeah. It's Smith Family Paranormal. There you go. Put me that wrong. You know? So please give that a subscribe, guys. It's in the chat. Thanks. All Anything right. Else to come? Oh, there's Drew saying, keep getting dragged away, but to research, guys, I promise. And enjoy your concept the quota. Oh, well, thank yeah. you. you know. As yeah. long as it's not a YMCA concert, I will not be fine. You know? No, it's stand-up comedy, mother... <laughs> I'm going to be coming back to Glasgow and just... I'm not in Glasgow. I'm outside Glasgow. I'm about 30 miles from the... Yeah, the Drew already side. said she'd be willing to slap you upside the head for me. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, Dakota, do we have anything else like a trailer or that to play? Or do we uh, have well, else? no, I do. No, nothing too special yet. I think we'll have to get ready yeah. to close the show. Yeah. But we Thank do have a little coming. something to close the show in style now. Yes, we do. Yes, Thank we you do. Guys. Thank you. Uh, be careful. Stay safe out there. Stay warm. Much love. And we'll see you this Friday. And see you Saturday.